Hey, what's going on guys? How you doing? Man, it's been, been about what? About a week or so since I did my last video, maybe two. But anyway, you know, I'm not here to discuss on the, uh, like the time that I do my, uh, videos. So, I mean, it's a pretty nice day out here. You know, it's about in the 80s right now. Well, maybe not in the 80s, probably the 70s, but starting to cool down a lot out, you know, outside. You know, no longer triple digits, you know, stuff like that, but... <clears throat> anyway, I'm kind of digressing, you know, just sitting, you know, just sitting out here doing this video, having a nice coffee, and uh, about about to get to um, what I'm going to be doing. Probably about a week ago or so, uh, maybe maybe a little less. Uh, Cowboy Seabot had done a video on. What would be the ultimate, your, your ultimate survival knife, you know? It's pretty much, you know, you're out in a survival situation, permanent, I guess permanently, and this is the only blade that you had, you know, that you had to use. And that's a, that's a pretty good question. And, you know, I, I, you know, molded over for a little bit, and of course, you know, one blade came to mind that would be my, uh, ultimate survival um my ultimate survival blade and of course you know you guys know what that is happens to be one of my favorite um favorite blades you know blade styles it's been in a few of my videos and that is the 1909 bolo knife this was good you know it's a good you know it's a good blade you know very stout blade full tang hardwood handle scales you know, I mean, it could go through anything. You know, this thing, you know, it's a workhorse. It could take a beating. But then I started thinking. It's just like, you know, if you're out there in, uh, in the wilderness and everything, and, you know, you, you, you're going to, you know, rely on this, you know, rely on, you know, something like this as your main source of, you know. <coughs> <clears throat> Sorry, I've been trying to get over this crud that I've had for the last few days. <clears throat> But where was I? Um, yeah, if you're going to be out in a survival situation, and you're going to be relying on a, on this, yeah, on a tool, that's going to be you know your source of you know shelter building, um, making you know sp spears or you know implements you know that you can you know catch and you know that you can catch animals for food and everything like that, and also you know. And in some cases, for defense as well. So, I'm, I'm thinking, and I'm like, <coughs> <coughs> you know, even though this is a very good, you know, very good blade, that maybe, maybe I need to downsize a little bit, you know? I mean, this is pretty much, you know, it, it, it could, it could, you know, like I said, it, it could chop, it could cut, it could slice, it could pierce, you know, but, you know, it, it's probably going to be, you know, a bit too long. I mean, if you're going to be carrying on your hip, or maybe if you can find a way to shoulder harness it, I just think that, you know, just need to downsize maybe just a little bit, but something that is just as robust. And I came up with this blade right here. And I have used this blade before. I've, you know, I have in the past, you know, after the holidays are over, I have used it to process, you know, process down, you know, the, the Christmas tree and everything like that. So it can actually fit in the, uh, in the, uh, in the garbage. And that is this right here. And this is my full tang uh, service number one, uh, Kukri from X Gurkha Kukri House. And I believe this is probably about an 11, probably about 11, 12 inch blade. Full tang. It's got rosewood, um, handle scales, just like the 1909 Bolo knife. It's got a, um, it's got a hole right here for a lanyard. And it's probably about a quarter of an inch thick or whatever. I mean, just as robust, but it doesn't, you know, and it weighs a little less. 
and it's shorter. You know, like I said it's about eleven. You know, about eleven, maybe twelve inch blade. So what you know, and this is the and this would be my, alt. You know, my go to or my ultimate um, survival knife. You know, not only because it's just as robust. You know, I also forgot to mention it has the same steel as the 1909. 5160 spring steel. Very tough, very durable. And, you know, it's got the brass, you know, the not brass, but the steel uh, rivets to hold everything in the place. And so, this would be, like I, like I said again, be my go-to ultimate survival um, knife. Not only is it, you know, smaller, and it weighs less, and it weighs less, excuse me, and it's just as robust, but also of two other features that a Kukri has. And that would be these two accessories that are within the sheath. Oh, excuse me, I didn't mean to bump you guys there. And that is the Carta and the Chetnak. Now the Carta right here is pretty much just a small little utility knife it's a little EDC this right here is for you know skinning game you know doing um, you know small detail work stuff like that very hand very handy little knife and now the check neck right here this is uh, pretty much a maintenance tool you know this is to you know kind of like a, a butcher steel you know it, you work the edge a little bit it hones the edge it doesn't sharpen it but it keep but it but it keeps the edge um, Keep the, it, 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 um, how do I say it? It conditions the edge, all right? That's the best way I could describe it. Conditions the edge, and if you also have a ferrule rod and everything like that, works really good as a striker to get your, your, um, your campfire going for cooking and to keep away wildlife. So, uh, so in other words, this would be, this would be my final choice. Oh yeah, and also that the um, scabbard has a wood core, wood wood core, wood, uh, a wood core, and it's wrapped in leather, and it's got this uh, this butt cap. So something like this can be easily worn on your hip, and it's not gonna um, and it's not gonna flop around, it's not gonna hit you, it's not gonna do any damage. It's just gonna sit right there, and it's also half the weight as the 1909. <laughs> if not, if not less. But anyway, I feel like I'm kind of rambling here a little bit. So I just wanted to do this video right here to show you what my final choice would be for my ultimate survival blade. And that is the Full Tang British Service 1 um, Kukri from X Gurkha Kukri House. This right here was my my first choice. I mean, it's and, and if I could, I'd throw this in there with with um with me. But unfortunately, it's only just you have to choose just one, and this would be it. Right here, these are both good blades. I think they would you know do um very well if you if somebody were to go with this. This would go well um out there. You know, like I said, it's a beast of a blade, and it'll get the job done. This right here is just, you know, downsized a little bit, just as robust, but it has, you know, a few more, a few more extra features. So that's why I went with this. <coughs> and also, before I close this video, I'd just like to uh, say that, you know, it's been a while since I've um, done a, a blade review. Well, actually, not a oh, maybe about a week or two. I think the last review I did was the uh, Jambia. But anyway, I've come to uh, a, a decision on which um, blade I'm going to review next. And that is um, this blade right here. And you've seen this in one of my older videos. If you know, if you have not seen that, go check it out. This is the Pinuti second generation from um, Chris Cutlery. Go by and check that out. And this one is up for review next. And the reason why I am going to review this blade is because you know I love Filipino style blades but I'm also doing this for 
one of my subscribers, and I'm also subscribed to him as well, Eric Hussein, who is um, very good at, at, you know, backyard cutting, cutting bottles, but he also has, a, you know, a few Filipino swords himself, and he just acquired the um, Moro Chris from uh, traditional Filipino weapons, and I believe it's the number four Chris, which has probably about 15 waves going down. Very, very good, um, very good choice, and it's a and it's a very intimidating looking blade. But anyway, um, go check his channel out, and I just want to say, Eric, you know this is up for review next. Just let me know what you think. All right. But anyway, that's about all I have for today. You guys take it easy, and until next time.